a little geography. Some hot air and a 20-foot balloon, and you've got the makings of a great learning day at school. I, I painted the, hand, the first earth balloon, I hand painted it, and it took me about 500 hours in, in my basement. And over the years it's developed, and we've worked with uh, different organizations to develop curriculum. And um, we have, now we have six teachers that travel across the country um, delivering our programs all over the United States. To help make sure their students were ready for the science and math portions of the tax test, McDougall took a giant step and brought in the Earth Ball. Reasons for the seasons due to the uh, Earth's tilt, um, plate tectonics and changes in uh, landforms, uh, time zones. They use math uh, because there's a lot of math involved in science, as we all know, and the tax test is about 30 to 40 percent math. Um, so they're also using scale. Um, and just learning visually what the planet's all about. 70, 80. Okay, thanks, Tony. Nice work. So 80 inches, and I said every inch is 30 miles. So who can calculate that? Not only does the Earth balloon give students a great visual learning experience, they also get to take a journey to the center of the Earth. Inside is, is really cool. <laughs> the first time I walked in, I was like, wow because, as you can see behind me, the, you can only see a part of the Earth when you're outside, but when you're on the inside, you can see the whole thing at once, and it's, it's just spectacular. And the lessons continue on the inside. And does anybody know the name of that supercontinent? But of course, what's most important is the experience will help students now, remember their lessons. Um, I learned that there are some uh, volcanoes and mountains and, and the oceans and that uh, when we see the green that's the rainforest. It's, this is just a great way to learn it.